In this part of the tutorial, we're going to go over the branding, how it works. What we've done is set up several areas with custom branding. We've got a backstage with some custom branding. We've got some TVs to the right hand side, we've got a custom moon week, and we've also got some custom branding to the left hand side. And right in the center, we've got some custom branding it says custom studios Dartmoor. The way this is set up, we've actually composited two materials together to get this to work. We've got the wood. We've also got the logo that goes in the middle. The custom studios, which we've added is just a logo that goes into a video null where we've done some color grading and mapping, and then we composited both the wood and the logo together. We've also composited the logo and the wood grain to generate some normal maps and a roughness map in the same way. And then that material pipes into the central floor stage. We've also set it up so that you can just swap over to a custom logo of your own. You bring in your PNG with a Alfred background and you pipe it in here and immediately you'll have your logo over the top of the wood grains. The other custom logos and videos in the scene, these have all been piped in using pre-comp layers. If we go to the main screen, we've got two different layers here. We've got the actual video. We've put in a video source, which is just a rendered off version of the pre-comp layer. The pre-comp layer is basically pointing the whole of that screen space area to another layer. This layer is your logo here. If we go to the your logo here layer, you can see that this is the source we're piping into the composite source. And in here, you've got some options to remove and add a new logo. Your logo would go here. We've used some vector art done in Illustrator to create the logo. And this logo can be swapped out to whatever you want. So if I turn that off there and go back to the actual original scene, you can see the logo disappears. I'll go back to that layer, turn that back on, and it pipes in live through the pre-comp layer. The TV screens are a similar setup. If you go to the TV screens, you can see that the image is coming from another layer in the DFX. This layer is another pre-comp layer. If we go to it, it's called Custom 3. And if we have a look at Custom 3, it's a similar setup to the other layer where you have your logo here. We've added some distortion and a few math modifiers to make it a bit more interesting. It's the same sort of format. All the background can be customized to whatever you want it to be. You can add a logo of your choice to this and you can pipe that in through custom three into the TV screens. I'll go to the moon week. Again, it's a similar setup. We can turn the pre-comp layer off and it won't change because at the moment, what we've done is rendered out the actual video for this and then piped that video into the scene. Obviously, using another layer in your DFX will have performance costs rather than just running it as a video. If you go to your moon week, there's not so much in here, but you still have all your materials, your objects, your lighting. That is an overhead. If you render that down to an actual video, it's a lot cheaper and a lot better on performance. All of the branding and logos can be updated in this scene, giving you maximum control. In the next Notch tutorial, we're going to be looking at optimization.